Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on reset. So before going to the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. Why do we need reset? What is the main purpose of reset? When I'm playing my game and the screen of that pops up, for sure I'm gonna hit that power button. Here, power button is a hardware reset which will come quite handy to put the computer or the system back to the known state. In chip design or in ASIC design, we use reset to bring back the design to a known state of simulation. So reset is very important in chip design and reset brings the flops to a known initial values which in turn bring the state machine or the control function to start from an initial condition. So resets can be applied in two fashions. One is synchronous reset and another is asynchronous reset. So first we will discuss about synchronous reset and then go to asynchronous reset. In synchronous reset, the reset signal will affect the state of flop or design on the active edge of the clock. So this is a small design where we are giving a synchronous reset there is no dedicated reset pin in the flop. Reset signal is a part of a logic that drives the data input of the flop. So here we are using a MUX logic to give the reset. The reset is active low. Whenever the reset is zero, the output will be zero. Since the reset signal is being given to the input of the flop, there is no extra priority for reset in synchronous reset. So reset signal has to meet the same whole setup time requirements as a regular input does. So let's look this design in Verilog. So this is synchronous reset using Verilog. We have a module which has output Q, input as D, clock and reset. And in the sensitivity list of always block, we have positive of clock. There is no mention of reset. So at the positive of clock, if the reset is zero, then only we can make the output as zero. Otherwise, it will be same as for the input. So for better understanding, let's see the simulated waves for this design. So as you can see, we have clock, input, reset and output. So the clock is of 10 seconds time period and the input is always 1. So as you can see the reset is applied at 3rd second and since the edge is not there we are seeing the output going to 0 at the edge. So the reset will be applied only at the positive of the clock. So this is fine the reset is applying fine but there is a problem with synchronous reset. So here you can see that reset is applied for a very short duration and there is no positive of clock involved. So as a result output has not detected the reset and this is a problem. If you want to reset the system and clock is not available then you cannot reset the system. So this is a big problem. To solve this problem we need a pulse stretcher which will stretch the pulse till the next positive. So now let us go for asynchronous reset. In asynchronous reset, we have a dedicated pin for reset. Here generally we use active low reset. Whenever reset is zero, the output must be zero. So the reset does not depend upon the clock. Whether the clock is at neg edge or pause edge, it does not care. Whenever the reset signal is set high in the active high condition or zero in the active low condition, the output must go back to the initial condition. So the reset has a higher priority here rather than the input. So now let us look at the Verilog code for asynchronous reset. If you observe this Verilog code, it looks exactly similar to the synchronous reset. You need to observe carefully because there is a small change in the sensitivity list of the always block. That is neg edge of reset is added for active low reset condition. So this place 
an important row. So whenever the negative of reset is detected, this block will be triggered. So now let us simulate this code and see the waveforms. So I have given the same test bench for asynchronous reset as well. And you can see the difference clearly. Whenever the reset is applied at the third second, the output goes to zero. Whereas in synchronous reset, we have to wait for the passage of clock. So our issue was the second condition where we have applied the reset for a very short amount of time. So as you can see that since it's an asynchronous reset, irrespective of the clock edge, we are getting the output zero till the next pause edge. So this is an advantage of asynchronous reset over the synchronous reset. But wait, is asynchronous reset is perfect? Absolutely not. There are flaws with asynchronous reset. So let us look at the disadvantage of using the asynchronous reset. So this is clock and this is reset. And this is an asynchronous reset active low. So when we apply a low as reset input, then the output will become zero at this point. But that is fine. When we remove the reset near the clock edge, there is a possibility of getting into a setup time violation or whole time violation. So reset removal is very important and crucial in asynchronous reset. So if we remove it during the setup time, then it, we might get a setup time violation or during the whole time, we might get whole time violation. So this is an important part of asynchronous reset. So how do we solve this? So reset removal issue, how do we solve it? So we solve it using the reset synchronizer. So reset synchronizer consists of two flops, one and two, where the second gets the inputs from the output of first and the first gets the input as always one. And the reset n is the input which we want to give it to our original design. And that will be synchronized and being given as the master reset and passed to our entire design. So how this works? As you can see, let us consider the same violation condition and understand this. So this is a clock and reset which I've shown already. Let's see the outputs at Q1 and Q2. At Q1 and at Q2. So the initial inputs are one and one. So when the reset is applied, the outputs will become zero for both the flops. Change of the reset at the positive edge of the clock will cause a metastable condition at Q1, that is the first flop. But Q2 will consider the previous value and will continue to remain zero. So after the violation, at the next edge, you can see the reset is back to normal. So now the flop one will consider the input. So we had made the input one. So now one will go to Q1 and at the next cycle, the Q2 will see the one. So this is how our waveform will look. Instead of giving this to our original design, we are changing the reset as such and giving it so that there will be no violation. So this is one problem of asynchronous reset and it is solved by using the reset synchronizer. One important notice is that we must use reset synchronizer in order to use asynchronous resets. So there can be also be glitches of reset. So to avoid glitches, we use an AND gate logic where we delay our reset and add it with the original reset so that there won't be any glitches in the reset then it will be supplied to the reset synchronizer and this reset which is synchronized will be given to the design so there is a dedicated pin for the reset while using the asynchronous reset so now we have a question which one to use either asynchronous or synchronous reset scheme so both schemes can successfully reset the logic of your design Asynchronous reset must have an extra dedicated pin for your flops whereas synchronous does not require a dedicated, dedicated pin for the reset so it saves area of your design 
but asynchronous reset is the surest way to get your reset done and don't forget to add the reset synchronizer logic to allow the asynchronous reset to work perfectly in the industry most of them are using asynchronous reset and there is a one flaw with the synchronous reset is that it requires the clock edge and it might miss some of the resets which are very short in time and both of them have their own difficulties but asynchronous reset is preferred and don't forget to add the reset synchronizer and thanks for watching hope you have a great day and please make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on and if you and if you like this video please hit that like button youtube algorithms love like buttons thanks for watching have a great day and what i can say just be fearless